Oh, what's up, Sebastian? How you doing? All right. How you doing, man? Nice to meet you. Thanks for making the drive out here. There she is. In all her glory. Oh, this is so good. Yeah. I mean, it's bad, but it's good. Yeah, yeah. Oh. Exactly. So it's an i5 4690K. Uh, 4690K. Yeah. Um, 16 gigabytes of RAM. And then the graphics card? Oh, that's a 970. GTX 970. Yeah. yeah. Okay, cool. Cool. All right. I'm looking at it. It's looking really dusty. It's looking really bad. Really... I left it. That's perfect. I honestly was going to do my own video to clean it, but then I saw that you were doing the PCD. Uh, yeah, setup, perfect and I timing. Was just like, okay, <laughs> got to send this thing right. The reason why it got as dirty as it did is because I literally never ran it with the actual. Oh, with the panel, panel on? on? Oh, there you go. So okay. It, yeah. It gotcha. Gets real bad. I have to push this thing to the absolute limit when I want to get good frames. So yeah. I have to. MSI overclock, I have to run fans at 100, like, it, gotcha. and it gets super loud and super hot, so. Okay, okay. Um, I'll let you know when I get it, uh, when I get it finished, I'll just shoot you an email, and then you just tell me what time works for you. Okay. And uh, I'll hold on to it for as little or as long as you need, and, and we can meet, I guess, back up here again. Okay. So this here is Sebastian's build, and even he admitted that it is extremely dirty it's very nasty this is the dirtiest i think that i've had to clean to date and he explained to me that the reason why so much dust caked up in here over time was because he was frequently removing his front panel so this is the original p400 i believe so it's not the p400a there's very very minimal airflow uh, from the front of the case and so he was removing it to bring down significantly the CPU and GPU temperatures. He wasn't fond of the high temps. Removing the front panel, piece of cake, right? That fixes that issue. Problem is, it creates a dust issue long term. You can see dust has been caked up pretty much everywhere inside of this. It is <laughs> disgusting, I don't think does does this justice it's it's really gross but it was while he was explaining the issues with airflow associated with this case that an idea popped into my head what better way to fix this problem long term than to give him a much better case with respect to airflow and what better case out there than the be quiet pure base 500 dx you guys have seen this before on the channel it's a great airflow centric case plenty of hardware support it looks super sexy i think it's actually be quiet's best case to date and i'm very happy that be quiet was willing to sponsor this video allow us not only a chance to show you some of the great qualities of the pure base 500 dx but also benefit this user uh, and give him something that will not result in significant dust buildup long term but also bring his cpu and gpu temperatures down significantly in the process we no longer have to remove the front panel entirely and when placed next to each other you can see just how much better airflow is in the 500tx over the original p400 so if your case looks like this currently and your temperatures are pretty high maybe consider the pure base 500 from be quiet but enough chit chat for now we'll talk about this more later we're going to clean the current build and then we'll transplant everything over here now to clean it's the same old same old at this point i have 99 percent actually 99.9 percent .9 isopropyl medical grade alcohol but you can go as low as 90 percent and be just fine i have some shop towels just for cleaning larger services q-tips precision q-tips this is all linked below by the way i have a knockoff i fix it toolkit it's just a cheap version of one because i'm i'm cheap and a new addition to the family a respirator it's probably a bit overkill for something like this but Whatever. I have a family. I'm going to play it safe. So let's get started.
arrived at the halfway point in the video, or maybe a little more than halfway. Reassembly time, starting first with this old case. Again, we're not gonna be using this for the new build. The 500DX will be housing the new build, or the, the revitalized build, I should say. But this this case, it just it's in so many pieces. I mean, I have tons of pieces here. These are all the dust filters and things. All these, like, look at these cables, and it's just nuts. I have literally a huge pile of screws and I've, I've never had a case this intensive, time intensive when it comes to disassembly and reassembly. So we're gonna take care of this first, just so I can show you before and after how dirty it was before and how uh, much cleaner it looks now. And then we'll get on to the actual build. We'll introduce the 500DX again. We'll start reassembling the platform, boot it up, make sure that things are working just fine. Here we go. Now, one of the excellent traits of the Be Quiet PureBase 500DX is the fact that it comes with three Pure Wings to 140 millimeter fans. Not many cases in this price range can say that about themselves. The fact that they're 140 mil over 120 means they can spin at a lower RPM and displace an equivalent amount of air, meaning they operate quieter effectively. And the fact that you get three of them means you can play around with configurations a bit. Because this has a pretty much fold out mesh front panel, we're gonna move the top 140 mil to the front. So we'll have two intakes and then we'll have one 140 mil exhaust fan. the system posts. I always like to make sure that these uh, are fully functional, that the fans are all turning, there's no missing connections, uh, and that uh, all the RAM is being read by the system, etc. Uh, so you don't want to give a system that is dead back to a customer uh, and then have them come back at you and say, hey, you, you've screwed something up, something's not working. Well, proof is in the pudding. That's why I always show this little segment uh, in these PCDC videos to verify to all of you that the system is in fact running with no problem. Actually running very quiet right now thanks to these large Pure Wings 2 fans. So I had a lot of fun cleaning this one. I hope you guys had a lot of fun watching the cleaning process play out. This stuff is therapeutic for me. I said it before, I'll say it again. It is so relaxing, so calming to just you know, not only clean these individual components, but also see the before and after, see the transition, seeing that hard work pay off. I'd also like to give a big shout out to Be Quiet again for sponsoring this video. This is the first time we've had a, a company willing to sponsor a video in this playlist specifically and I think this played out very well. I knew that there would be a, a fair degree of cohesion between the manufacturer, uh, again, producing products like these, brand new products that work very well, uh, and then also kind of mixing that into the whole like old system, dirty system, probably old case, not very good airflow, maybe old power supply. Like Be Quiet makes power supplies, they make cases, they make coolers. Um, there's a lot that I think we could work on together uh, and I'm open to working with other manufacturers as well. But for now, I'm, I'm super thankful that Be Quiet gave us a chance to integrate their products into this playlist. And I, I really hope that Sebastian likes the way this looks. So again, big thanks to Be Quiet. Be sure to support the channel and support them by clicking our sponsor link down below. If you're in the 
market for a brand new case, strongly consider the PureBase 500DX, it won't let you down. But there's one more thing we're forgetting before I let you go. If you've watched this far into the video, big thanks. I hope it pays off for you right now. I'm gonna show you Sebastian's reaction. All right, he's here. Let's show it to him. Freaking GoPro, man. This GoPro Hero 7 Black is a hunk of junk. I, this is not the first GoPro I've had. Um, this is not the first time that it's actually done what you're seeing here. It's like frozen video, but the audio works fine. Like what the heck is that about? It doesn't make any sense in my view to show you guys just the audio. I'm not even really showing you the audio. I'm letting you hear the audio, but that uh, just seems kind of lame. Anyway, he was excited. He, he was, of course, I'm sure you can imagine, you know, fairly amped about uh, seeing the system for the first time, all clean and shiny in the new case. And uh, he was excited again to bring it home and uh, start gaming on it, not stare at dust. Instead, he can stare at a nice clean system. Looks almost brand new, despite having um, got a bit older hardware in it. So that was uh, that was really nice to see. I'm sorry that this happened. I'll make sure that it does not happen in the future. I'll switch to something other than a GoPro, just use a bigger camera, uh, or not even bother with, you know, doing the POV stuff. I'll just keep filming with my dash cam and then I'll just mic myself so that y'all can hear the audio there. Uh, anyway, thank you guys for watching this far into the video. Sorry for that huge letdown, kind of blue balled you, but uh, again, I'll make sure that doesn't happen again. Uh, if you guys like the video, thumbs up, consider clicking the subscribe button, leave a comment down below, and I'll catch you in the next one. My name is Greg, thanks for cleaning with me.